Hey, oh, it's going, and we're back in Nordshire for installment three of the crafting Nordshire series. As you can see, I did some tweaking on the gate that we were working on last time. I finished it. I changed the uh, look of the roof. The orange wasn't really doing it for me, and the original was more red anyway. I also finished the road outside. I added the trees here, the tents that were as random blocks have also been added. And I did the lamps, as you can see, I added uh, daylight sensors to the top so they actually turn on when they need to and they turn off when it's light giving it a nice extra automated Minecraft touch. So for this video we're going to do a short uh, start on the Abbey and uh, what I want to focus on mostly is the uh, outside bits. So the tent over there, the wagons over here and perhaps the sconces on both sides of the doors. Uh, well, we'll see how far we get. So, this tent uh, is supposed to be a blue tent with some wooden poles and a table in front of it with a map on it and stuff like that. Right now it's really not much of anything so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out all the silly randomness I'm gonna leave some of the blue up so I can get a base idea of where the tent is supposed to be and then we're gonna grab some blue wool because it is tent so using wool makes sense and we're going to actually craft a tent out of proper material doesn't need to be a big tent but it needs to be a tent. Uh, let's see, the entrance is on this side, so we're gonna do it like this. I'm gonna add some poles to the front so we have a nice little overhang. Mm. The floor is a bit. course so I'm gonna change that In there some regular dirt uh, we want to have a table of sorts so we're going to use some wooden pressure plates and we might need some shelves like that and of course they'll want some lighting uh, I'm not sure how many people would use torches to light their woolen tense but well hey it's minecraft anything goes uh, let's see i'll we'll just drop that over here and we'll actually add some more depth to the, the roof why did i get rid of my blue wool i don't know uh, okay let's just add a little so and there we go 
that looks much more like a tent than the previous version did. Okay, so now the wagons. Mm, they're supposed to be gypsy type wagons with awnings on the sides and windows and anything, so we don't really have anything to go for wheels, but we'll first get rid of all this silliness computer generated junk uh, we'll leave some of that so we know where the roof is supposed to go okay um, I'm not gonna use wool for the roof of this uh, no, concrete is too mm, solid. Terracotta, maybe. a wagon right up around here not too big there's another wagon over there so This is supposed to have wheels of sorts. We'll use mm, some other type of wood. Dark oak planks, maybe. Uh, I could actually try. Hmm. Maybe if we use this, but on the sides actually give the impression of wheels and we'll need some oak steps because these wagons have generally some kind of entrance of course we don't want people to actually go in here so we'll have a door leading nowhere door uh, let's see jungle door oak door let's see what the jungle door looks like ah that's yeah that's okay I can work with that 
and then we'll need an awning and some windows oh, we don't actually want to have any glass in there I guess it'll be better to use something that's not see-through maybe you can just use glowstone then we'll have lights for now and let's see we have some red awnings so we want some red wool by one and then we'll want some chests and stuff something to work with. Well that looks much more like a gypsy wagon than that. <laughs> yeah. So let's see if we actually take these out and oh didn't want that to go. Yeah, now it's actually now it actually looks like it can run. <laughs> ah, that's pretty cool. I'm kind of impressed with myself. Okay, so that's one down, and we have the tents over here. Just one more of these wagons to go. And we'll go about that the same way. So we'll leave the orange wool up for a bit. and then we'll start replacing that with the concrete terracotta we used
it's going a lot faster when you have a design in your head. Just need some wheels. There. Then the chests, one over here maybe, <laughs> yeah, there and oh, a crafting table. And some torches. And we're done. So I guess we'll leave it at that for now. And I'll see you guys later for the start on the actual Abbey. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys later.